Well, the disruption starts with the consumer. The consumers are fundamentally different, not just in this region, but around the world. And there's so many disruptive brands. This is Netflix, this is Uber, this is Tesla. Category to category, disruptors are in there. They don't have legacy issues. They sometimes don't report quarterly earnings. And they are very aggressively going after incumbent brands, big multi-billion dollar blue chip brands to disrupt them and, frankly, steal their commercial relationships. In the face of this incredible disruption, you have a couple of choices. You can argue about it, you can worry about it, or you can act. And from my perspective, now is the time to fight back. Now is the time as an incumbent brand to leverage and protect the incredible scale and brand and incredible customer relationships that you have. And the fundamental way to do that is with relentless digital transformation. That's the key to fighting back. Based on our experience with hundreds of uh, companies in transition around the world, we've created a seven-step digital transformation framework. The most critical thing is the background and the starting point. The, the spine that goes all the way through the process isn't technology or even marketing, it's business. It starts with a business ambition. At the midpoint, it has a business case, a serious investment case, and it ends with optimization. And that spine of business is flanked by steps of marketing and technology working together. So the entire process, first business, then a customer-centric marketing vision, and then you move on to the technology that will make it happen. That's the key and successful companies in transformation have applied that process and, and won. Standing still is going backwards in every business category, every major market that we're operating in. Uh, the consumer every single day in their adoption of mobile, in how they shop, in how they gain influence and learn about brands, how they experience them and advocate them, it's changing every single day. So the only advice I give is pay acute attention to your customer in your marketplace and how they're shopping and experiencing brands. And that is your signal. That's where you have to walk with your customer into the future. And if you're standing still and they're not, it's creating distance between you and your customer. That is deadly. I actually must say now is genuinely the most exciting time in the history of marketing. I started in traditional brand management and packaged goods and worked in financial services and technology. But what an incredible moment. The consumer is changing. Uh, the notion of what a brand is and a relationship with a customer, the explosion of mobile, this incredible social world, and the emergence of e-commerce and new forms of creating commercial relationships. So I'm delighted. I find it incredibly energizing, not exhausting. And I uh, think it, it, it has an incredible 5, 10, 15 year stretch ahead of constant change, constant disruption, and a freshness to it that I think people will find challenging but very, very energizing. Thank you.